Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Software Inc. Alpha 9. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because here at Nerdbrusoft, we are certainly having a great time. We have over 24 million 800 pounds. We have Nerdbrusoft Vision, the only piece of software that we have released that has made us all of that money. We're working on Nerdbrusoft Wave. We're working on Vision 2. And I'd like to make some changes, actually. I'd like to begin today's episode by pausing the game and, well, actually, no, I want to speed up the game for a second until everybody leaves because I want to change the layout of the development space because the development space doesn't have a very good layout at the moment. And the reason it doesn't have that layout is because, for some reason, some of the employees are having trouble with... Uh, now, can I select every bit of furniture in that room? Is that a thing I can do? Yes, it is. Uh, I'd like to delete all of that. And uh, I'd like to get some new rooms in. So like I was saying, some of the employees are having trouble. Basically, they are having trouble getting to their computers. For some reason, the game has assigned uh, different people to the computers than I set them to, etc. So it's just been a little bit weird. So this is what we're going to go for. We're going to have designers, programmers, artists. And we're just going to put all their furniture in there. And they are going to work in individual rooms as opposed to in one big room. And there we go, job done. We have the new spaces. I think it looks pretty cool. So that will absolutely do us going forward. Now there is something I would like to do, which is with regards to all of the things that we currently own, because we did previously buy out a company. Uh, I would quite like to sell off a few of the intellectual properties that we acquired in that deal. I'd also really likely, uh, really quickly like to go and stop the printing of uh, new copies of... Uh, Nerdsoft, Nerdsoft Vision, because we're not actually, we're not actually doing much with that. So if we go to distribution, we can just cancel the printing because we're printing a lot of copies of that and we're shipping them out to retailers and they're not selling. So it doesn't seem like a good idea to, you know, go ahead and keep that going. Now, here's a question. Can we port that forward to anything? No, that is on everything that it can currently be on. Uh, Plane Tricks 4, we could port to some very old operating systems, not much point in doing that. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We are going to sell uh, as much as we possibly can. So Pizza Simulator, we're going to trade that IP. Uh, Frame, the operating system, we're going to trade that IP. Soldier Battle in Space 2, we're going to trade that IP. And then finally, next Slim OS, we are also going to sell that. So now we are left with Plane Tricks and the Poly Engine, because I'd like to make a game engine at some point, and I'd also like to make Plane Tricks 5, or maybe, tr you know, Plane Tricks Reloaded or something, and sort of reboot the franchise at some point in the not-too-distant future. That's me plan anyway. I'd like to make some good Plane Tricks games. And I think we can do it. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, as for Vision, I mean, it's the only thing that we've actually invented. The marketing is still unavoidable. It made 26 million uh, pounds. But unfortunately, it doesn't really seem to be making that much money anymore. So we do need to gear up to get Nerdsoft Wave out the door. And what I'm thinking is we'll get some reviews of that done. We'll go ahead and outsource those. We can also get the teams to review it. Just get everybody to review it and see what they think of it. So uh, there's a whole bunch of reviews of that done. And this has actually changed a little bit. It now gives you an overall score and review accuracy. So there's 70% accuracy with an overall score of 5.8. They generally seem quite happy with the code, uh, the audio coding on Nerdsoft Wave, which is beautiful news. Let's get the internal reviews. Internally, it gets about a 6.5 with a review accuracy of zero. Good. Good. That's great. That's just what we want to see. So, uh, yeah, Nerdsoft Wave, I think, still needs a little bit of work. I still think it's a little bit rusty. Uh, we're also spending, like, £60,000 a day marketing Nerdsoft Vision. And Nerdsoft Vision, I mean, is it going to make anything? Yeah, I think Nerdsoft Vision's probably done. So we'll call it a day with that. We're going to start marketing Nerdsoft Wave. I think I'm going to give it a release date of... I'm going to say... Ooh, October 1984. I want it released this October. Actually, no, let's look at upcoming releases. When's the next audio tool coming out? So the next audio tool, there isn't one. Fair enough. There is Int Thing OS 2 coming out next December, then VOS 7 in December 88. 
So we have a while before we're going to need to worry too much about other operating systems. So what I'm thinking we maybe do is rather than announcing a release date, we do a bit more marketing. So we'll get together some press releases and do that. We can put out some press builds as well. We'll put out some uh, some press releases for Vision 2 as well. And we'll just keep them fairly busy. We'll keep the uh, keep the marketers doing what they do, writing press releases, getting those out to the people, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can get a very uh, very good fan base going for uh, everything that we're going to be releasing in the next. I'll say the next twelve to eighteen months, because Vision Two isn't going to go out for a while. We are just going to be sat on that for a while, so that's probably okay. I am thinking, though, there is a definite possibility that we could go and develop something. Like, we have dedicated designers. The only problem is the designers are pretty good at what they do, so the, de the design phase doesn't take very long at the moment. So, I mean, I would like to build a game engine, but I don't think I want to do it. I don't think I want to build a game engine yet. I think I want to wait until another operating system comes out that can support stuff like 3D. And then at which point we'll have to make Nerdresoft Vision 3D. But that's my thinking, basically. We we try and build something on an operating system that utilizes better technology. Because eventually, I would like to have a bunch more teams here at the company. I would like to have a game dev team. I would like to have an operating system team. If you've watched me play this game before, and I'd highly recommend you go back and watch some of the other series because it gives you an insight into what this game used to be like. And, you know, these episodes aren't necessarily going to be daily, so... You know, if you want more software, ink, there's like four seasons, maybe more. Uh, but anyway, the point is that uh, I would like to get dedicated teams for everything. So a dedicated operating system team, a dedicated 2D and then at some point 3D editing team, a dedicated audio team, uh, a game dev team which can handle engines and games. Uh, the Office team or the CMS, probably CMS will probably handle Office software as well. But uh, I would like a few different teams. I'd like to be pumping out games kind of regularly at some point. As well as the usual releases. I'd like to make Vision a fairly regular release. I'd like to try and make it constantly uh, better. Anyway, that's, you know, that's way down the line with the company. That's not going to happen for quite some time. What I would like to do, I think, is maybe make a game. Maybe we try and make something that's, you know, gonna have 2D graphics. So we could, if we wanted, use the original Nerdresoft Vision, which I think we will. In terms of the game engine, we can use the Poly engine, which we do happen to own. The only thing is, uh, we would need an audio tool, and considering Wave is gonna be coming out soon enough, I think maybe... I think maybe we hold off until Wave is released. Because then we can make a game using Poly Engine, which we didn't make, but we do own. Uh, we can use Nerdresoft and uh, Nerdresoft Vision and Nerdresoft Wave as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get a couple more reviews in of Nerdresoft Wave. See what people think of it. I think that's a good score. But I kind of feel like I want it to be higher. I feel like I want an average score of like eight. So I think we're going to be on this for a little bit longer. Uh, an employee is stressed. What's up with you? You are an artist. Why are you stressed? You don't do anything. You literally get to sit and do what I, I mean. Okay, admittedly, yeah, you do have stuff to do, actually. You are still working on art revision, too. But it seems to have capped at 2.7 megabytes of art. So it doesn't seem like you're doing that much, to be honest. Uh, let's, let's move this radiator for a second. And let me move this radiator as well. Let me grab that desk and grab that, and I want to duplicate that furniture and put it there and there. Because I think getting another designer and maybe another programmer could be a good idea for the core team. So we'll go to hire employees, we'll say, we'll spend like 2000 on the salary, actually that's for a leader. Uh, programmer with a good salary. What are you going to be... Ooh, 3D. I feel like 3D is unnecessary though, so let's just go for a system programmer. And we'll get that, so begin looking. Uh, let's look for skill, and then the highest skilled one that's great is 58 years old. I'm not too, uh, you're 43, that'll do. You're also pretty good at, uh, at art as well, so let's hire you, uh, Mauricio Johnston. 
you are going to be a programmer, if you wouldn't mind there, buddy. So look at employees. Uh, new guy here. Set your role to be a programmer. And then we want to get ourselves another designer as well. So hire for design. Uh, we'll do system again because we might as well begin looking. And you're 58, but you're good. Oh, come on. Be a bit younger. I mean, I know it's I know it's a terrible thing to go through and be like, you're too old. But I want them to stay with the company for a long time because it means that I can train them up and have them uh, perform really well at the company for a good long time without then going ahead and... Uh, and retiring, basically. Uh, now, you are going to be a designer. There we go. Basically, it means that I'm not spending a bunch of money on someone's education and skills when they're only going to be with us for a few years versus a decade or two. That's the plan. That's that's basically how this works. Uh, so, let's see. You've called in sick. They can't keep up with support for vision. It seems like they're doing all right. They're going through tickets pretty quickly there. Definitely going through tickets quite quickly. The number of tickets queued is going down. Uh, so, the designers are all in there. We have five of the... Uh, no, there's actually six of them. There's six programmers at work today. That's fine. Um, and they're all off home again. Okie dokie. Fair enough. No problem. You guys do you. Don't mind me. You know, I just want you to finish Wave, but sure. Let's get that reviewed again. Another outsource review. We'll end it. We're up to 6.8. Definitely getting there. Definitely getting there. Let's get a review of Vision 2 as well and see if that's gotten any better. Uh, the 2D art is still dire and the code is pretty bad as well. So we are going to have to sit on Vision 2 for a very long time. But that's probably okay. That is probably a good thing because it means that the longer we sit on it, the better it's going to wind up being. Now let's get marketing back on this. Let's put out a press release. Uh, for Wave, let's put out a press release for Vision as well. Because we don't have as many people following Wave as we once did. Same with Vision. The number of people following that has dropped as well. I feel like what we need to start doing is marketing things a bit more cleverly. In that with things like press releases, technically we're announcing the game, right? Like that's kind of what like your first press release or press build or whatever would do. So it seems like maybe it's a better idea to not do that at all. It seems like it might be an idea to wait until your product is way down the line, like close to release, and then you start putting out press builds and you put out press releases and all that stuff because it means that you can really build the hype close to launch as opposed to trying to do what I'm doing here, which is building and then maintaining hype as time goes by. Because the longer we sit on this, the harder it's going to be to maintain that hype. Like, we're putting £7,200 into a press release for Wave, and we're going from 382 to 584 followers. That's just 202 more followers than we had before. 580 to 641. So that was barely an increase at all. And I'm pretty sure that Vision at one point did have a following of like three or 4,000 people. So, yeah, I definitely think it might be an idea to actually go ahead and market things more cleverly, basically. That's that's definitely a thought. Uh, have we got any marketing deals here? No. Wait, Plane Tricks 2015. You want support for Plane Tricks 2015? Didn't we deal with this? Didn't we talk about Plane Tricks 2015? I could swear that we did. I could swear that I've mentioned this already, that Plane Tricks 2015 really shouldn't exist. Uh, Treat Productions. I would like to talk with you for a moment because you're not a, you're not a company that's worth much. So, yeah, Plain Tricks 2015 is your only product, isn't it? You've also you've got shares in other companies. I am going to buy out that company. Oh, I have to own all the stocks before. Okay, I'm going to buy out the company. There we go. And then buy the company. So now I have the rights to Plane Tricks 2015, which is fine. That's totally, totally fine. Ooh, a new company. Super Digital Industries. I'm going to buy some stocks in you and uh, give you a bit more funding there. Then we're going to hope for the best. We're going to see if that company does some good things. Hopefully they will. Hopefully I haven't wasted me cash. Uh, 
So Fringe Trial Studios. Do I now, like, own your entire company? Is that what this is? Because I bought two companies. Fringe Trial Studios, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I own all of Fringe Trial Studios at this point. Almost certain that's the one I just bought out. So are they going to stay in here as a company that I now own? Because they're worth, I mean, they're they're worth 10,063, which really isn't much. So, yeah, they're still there. They're actually worth less. We've been mentioned with regards to a company takeover. Uh, let's see, Treat Productions. No, that was the one. Interesting. So Fringe Trial Studios. Who's Fringe Trial Studios? Hold on a minute. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm missing something here. So, stocks. That's fine. All companies for a second. Uh, so Fringe Trial Studios are these guys with one product. I don't remember buying stocks in this company, going to be honest. But apparently I have got stocks. Okay, I'm going to buy more stocks in that company. There we go. So that's fine. I now own quite a few stocks in a couple of companies. That's probably okay. So we'll see what happens with that. I should probably buy some stocks in my own company and then hold on to them, but I think we'll be okay without doing that just yet. Uh, let's see. Can we get this reviewed again? I want to see what, uh, what score this gets. Uh, 7.2. You know what? That'll do. Let's start... Let's get the beta testing and the, the bug stomping going for Nerdresoft Wave. Because 7.2 is not bad. That is definitely not bad. And if we can... If we can make it even better... I mean, we can't review it in the beta stage. But we can still market it. So if we start putting out, like, press builds... And we put out press releases... Hopefully this is going to help. We can uh, we can technically hype it. But... Uh, I don't know if there is actually any hyping options in here just yet. Because they never seem to do anything when I tell them to hype things. So... I really don't know. Oh, wow. We're up to 1,500 followers again. Not bad. Let's put out a press release. We're going to we're gonna get quite a few followers from this. That is not bad at all. Definitely excited to see how this goes. So uh, here's, here's the thing. When do we release Nerdresoft Wave? I reckon we go for a February 1985 launch. I reckon just after Christmas is what I'm going to go for. Uh, the problem is, then we have March, April, May, June to do full marketing. And then in July, the marketing team goes on holiday. Which is risky because that could really hurt the sales. But I mean, I've already said that February 1985 is when it's coming out. So apparently I can't change that. That, that might not be my best move. That could definitely backfire a little bit if the, uh, especially if the sales aren't amazing initially, because what can happen there is that they're just going to get even worse after the break in marketing. But we'll see, I guess. It's December 1984. We have another press release going out about this. We're not actually hyping it, so that's fine. Let's do a bit of marketing for this as well. So that Vision 2 can stay somewhat relevant. Uh, let's also get some reviews going from Vision 2. So Vision 2 is currently a 3.2. The code is fine, the art is the problem, and I think it's because 2.7 megabytes is the limit here. I'm actually going to Google something really quickly. Floppy disk uh, size. Was a floppy bit, it was 1.44. Yeah, so that, why is it locked at 2.7? Is that maybe the highest that the system that we're developing for can do? That might very well be. Maybe 2.7 megabytes is the highest, like, is, is the most art we can put into this right now. Because the artists have been working on it for a while, unless that's a bug, I don't know, it might be. That might just be a bug in the, uh, in the game at the moment. Let me have a look at something. So two, I'm going to Google this, 2.7 megabytes, uh... Limit, I guess, if I Google that. Is there anything that had, like, a 2.7? What had a limit 
of 2.7 megabytes. I, hmm. I don't know if, I don't think it is anything necessarily. I think it might just be an arbitrary limit in the game. I'm just checking to see if, uh, I'm just checking to see if there's like a piece of software back in the day, like around 1980 something that had that limit, but I think it might just be a limit set by the, the thing that we're developing for. I think 2.7 megabytes might just be the limit of the software at the minute. So that's going to be fine. We have one full month of... Oh, wait. Plane Tricks 2015 does not meet demand and I'm losing sales. Really? I mean, it, well, it, it was bad. It did sell quite a few units, though. Okay. Uh, let's do a bit of marketing for Plane Tricks, then. Let's give it a marketing budget of unlimited. Let's order 100,000 copies, I guess, and see what happens. We're not going to print any copies ourselves. That seems like a pretty bad idea. But we'll see what happens. We might sell quite a few units. We could port that, actually, I wonder. Can we? Um, no. I mean, yes, we can, but there's nothing that is, there's no point in porting it to any of that. So that's fine. Let's spend obscene amounts of money marketing something that we don't actually own, whilst we do the final uh, bug stomping for Nerdsoft Wave. And let's sincerely hope that Plane Tricks 2015 comes back and makes money. Otherwise, I just wasted a whole bunch. Let's find out. What's it going to make? It is going to make... 25... Th okay. I mean, that is... Is that a profit? I don't think that is. I think we have overall lost money on it. So we're just going to... We're just going to get rid of that. There's... There are units in stock. That's fine. Let's go ahead then and... Release Nerdsoft Wave... We are going to give it an unlimited marketing budget. We are going to print copies. I want to print a quarter of a million copies right off the bat. 300,000 pounds to print all of these copies. So hopefully Wave is going to make some serious bank. Because if it doesn't, I'm not going to be very happy. Uh, now we're going to set the priority on Vision 2 to be quite high there. Or at least high versus the support for Wave. We're going to give customer support the wave job as well and we'll see we will see if nerdsoft wave is gonna be another great seller much in the way that vision was before it nerdsoft wave is going to make in its first month 1.39 million pounds ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen I think we did it. I, th I think we done good. Uh, now, apparently, Plane Tricks 2015 does not meet demand. Yet, we are still sitting on... 90,000 units in stock. I find that difficult to believe that it doesn't meet demand, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, that's like saying that Nerdsoft Vision doesn't meet demand when there's 485,000 units of that still in stock somewhere. So, I'd say we're probably fine. I'd say there's no real concern there. I'd also say that I want to get Vision 2 reviewed again to see what people think of it. Uh, so let's have a look. The score is rising, 4.2. I think we're going to be we're going to be banking on the code here being amazing rather than the art because the art doesn't seem to be improving all that much. But let's see what Wave is going to make in its second month. 1.3 was the start, 1.3 million, it's going to go 1.4 million, so it's making more money. Amazing, okay. I want to have a look at the software times, I want to see what they had to say in March. The review of Nerdsoft Vision, or Nerdsoft Wave. Nerdsoft is ready with Nerdsoft Wave, and I bet fans are excited to see what's in store. We already know Nerdsoft, but nobody knows them in the audio market. Nerdsoft Wave is overall a well-made product. We can't even imagine how complicated this must be behind the scenes, and it runs very smooth. It seems the dev left behind some bugs. There's really no market for this product right now. They'll need to port it. It will be competing with Audio Pro 7 by Kickshow. Overall, Nerdsoft Wave is looking okay for the price. It's probably not going to move many copies. They should up their marketing game. They still need to make a name for themselves in this market. They should port it to modern, modern operating systems. The marketing is unavoidable and it's making 1.4 million. I think it's probably fine. I'm going to be honest. 
I I have a feeling it's it's doing okay. Uh, we st- we have made a profit. Like we started this episode with what twenty four million eight hundred thousand. So we're doing all right. I'd say I'd say we're doing all right. I don't think there's uh, a massive crisis in the company at the moment. That said, I would definitely like to. Well, no, I'll not say I'd like to because that would be wrong. I'm I'm considering. Uh, expanding the building a little bit. I'm considering maybe getting us a a bigger core team so we can work on more things. We've been mentioned in regards to a company takeover. What did we do? What just happened? Uh, industry? Industry section? Industry? Uh, business? All sections? Why are we... We're not mentioned here at all. What did we just gain the rights to? Door shade, an operating system, a console operating system. Why did we just get who just who just invent who invented this? This was invented by Super Digital. Oh, we re- someone really bought out Super Digital Industries. Or did they go bankrupt? Super Digital, they're not even listed here anymore. But it doesn't list anyone that's bankrupt, does it? That's weird. That's really, really strange. Um, okay. Yeah, that is, that is particularly, particularly odd that uh, that company just got bought out and I got the console operating system. I'm not necessarily complaining, though, because it means that if I ever want to make a console operating system, I can. So that's something I'll probably... I mean, I could make it anyway, but I can just make a successor to that. Which I guess might be an idea. We'll see. We will, uh, we will certainly see. Uh, now, Wave, like I said, is making multiple millions per month. My worry, of course, is that in July, everyone goes on holiday, so it might make a bit less there. What's it going to make this month? It's going to go to, okay, just over a million. I received zero stocks and the rights to two products. So, Super Digital Industries was bought out and acquired by Nerdsoft, apparently. And then... Slide Monday has been acquired by Throwberry's Kingdom. Alpha Trap was acquired by Smile Trials. Hold on a minute. Notice of Wave doesn't meet demand? Really? Pause for a minute. Pause, pause, pause. Because I want to read this. So, right. So, Smile Trials bought Alpha Trap Delight. What? I'm really confused by this. Um, so, Smile Trial Studio bought Alpha Trap Delight. I have no idea. I have, I really have have no idea what's uh, what's been going on in the markets there. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Apparently, we don't have enough copies of Nerdsoft Wave though. So, if we go in and have a look here, Nerdsoft Wave has sold. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely every unit. So, we're going to order. Another quarter of a million copies of it. So let's just get that done there. Uh, It's selling very well. That is great to see. Very, very happy to see that that is selling so well. We got Image Stop, a 2D editor. Interesting. We were not the inventor of that. We also got, uh, like I said, Door Shade. We have Sign Pause. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to sell those. I don't really want another 2D editor. I have no interest in that. So I'm going to sell it to Slide Corp. And Sign Pause, I am also apparently going to sell to Slide Corp. Which leaves me with Door Shade, which didn't do very well at all. Uh, it leaves me with Plain Tricks 2015 and Plain Tricks 4, which are not the same franchise, which is particularly annoying. That said, I mean, we could, we could look into maybe selling the Plain Tricks franchise the original one well no i want to hold on to them actually because i'm worried that if i was to sell something like uh the plane tricks franchise here we would see someone else come along and make plane tricks 5 which is just going to get really confusing with uh with the other franchise i think it's good that i hold on to both of them so the current overall score for nerdresoft vision 2 is 5 out of 10 I would say that the quality of the art must be improving. The quality of the code is getting to be phenomenal at this point. So what I think I might do is go to my core team, go to my artists and say, hey, do you guys want to get a bit of uh, a bit of training going? Because you can have a month of 3D or a month of 2D, a month of audio. I mean, I guess educating them in 
art for a month is probably going to max most of them out with 2D. So that might improve the quality of the art that they're doing for it at the moment. My one worry, though, is that we're going to spend so much money on Nerdresoft Vision 2 and it's actually not going to work. That is that is a little bit of a, a scary thought. Granted, we have almost two and a half million fans at the company. We are making, you know, even with no marketing, we nearly made a million on, uh, on Nerdresoft Wave. So hopefully... Hopefully we can make something good out of Vision 2. I think I would like to look at upcoming releases. The next 2D editor is November of 86. That is going to be Photo Studio 2 from Stab Garden. Do they have any uh, history with that kind of thing? I've never really seen Stab Garden doing something before. Oh, interesting. There's an antivirus coming out. Apparently, I missed the antivirus trend. Uh, why did I say trend so weirdly? Apparently, I missed the uh, the antivirus trend. So, that's annoying. There's definitely room there to make a good one of those. Let's start designing an antivirus piece, uh, piece of antivirus software. Oh, 3D editors right as well. Oh, dear. That's actually annoying because it means that vision by nature, vision 2, is going to be outdated. Uh, well, no, it's not, because 3D editors have just come about, so we're going to have to make th Vision 3D very quickly. Let's promote this into beta. And let's announce a release date of January 1986. Okay. Let's market it with a press release. Let's market it with press build. And let's hope for the best on that, because we might be a bit rough here. Uh, I'd also like to start working on... I mean, can I immediately jump in with... I mean, a 3D editor, by nature, is not going to be... It's not going to be in the same franchise, technically speaking, as uh, Vision 2 and the original Vision. And I also dislike that I can't use Vision 2 uh, in the as the 2D editor for this. I mean, I know why. I know that it's not done, but now that it's in beta, it would be nice to be able to use it. Let's just make antivirus software. So, it, oh wait, that's going to need to... Oh man, we're going to have to wait for Vision 2 to be done, I think. Actually, no, let's, let's use Vision. Let's just get this done. Background scans, it's going to be fine. Uh, the price is going to be $69.99. Dot nine, nine, nine. Uh, the product name is going to be... I mean, since this whole series is a bit of a nostalgia trip, we're going to go Bug Blocker. That's what we're going to go for. Nsoft Bug Blocker, or something like that. Uh, NS Bug Blocker. Nerdresoft Bug Blocker. That's fine. That's totally fine. Operating systems... Interestingly, can only be these two. These operating systems... Haven't got many active users. But maybe if we make something uh, something good for them, they might end up with a lot of active users. So we'll start developing that. I imagine that the development on Bug Blocker is going to go very, very quickly. But we'll certainly see. Uh, Nerdresoft Wave is going to go up again, hopefully. It did a little bit. It's definitely not making as much as I'd like, but it should be okay. Uh, we have a couple more, couple more months to get Vision 2 in a really good state. It looks like uh, NS Bug Blocker is probably going to be done first. Which is interesting. I'd like to outsource some reviews on this and see what people think of it initially. So yeah, it, it barely scrapes a 1. The code is terrible across the board. Uh, the art isn't amazing either. So uh, let's just put the priority on, on Vision 2. And make sure that it gets done first, and then we work on NS Bug Blocker. It is January 1986. Nerdresoft Wave is not meeting demand anymore, which is a little bit concerning. Uh, it has sold more units than we have printed, which is also a bit concerning. Let's order another quarter of a million units of that because we can. So that's now ordered. That's fine. It's made 8 million in profits. We're sitting on 32,120,000. 
and it is time to go ahead and release Neurosoft Vision 2. 26,000 people following that currently. Let's send it out. We are going to market it with an unlimited marketing budget. We are going to print 500,000 copies. That's a lot of copies, but we're going to do it. We're going to give Vision 2 the higher marketing priority. And uh, now the core team can uh, get on with uh, Bug Blocker, which is going to be fine. So let's get that some uh, some outsourced reviews just there to see what people generally think of it. Uh, Bug Blocker actually already at 3.7. The art is beautiful, apparently. It's the code that kind of sucks, which is uh, a little bit alarming. But I guess these guys can now go ahead and uh, prioritize the work on Bug Blocker. So, ladies and gentlemen, Nerdsoft Vision 2 is on the market. We're close to spending £20,000 on this piece of software in its first marketing month, in its release month. The real question. The question we are all wondering the answer to. How much money is Nerdsoft Vision 2 going to make? the successor to our best-selling piece of software, our first piece of software that made us 24 million pounds. Is it going to sink or is it going to swim? You're gonna have to wait and find out next time because I'm gonna leave it there for today. Thank you kind of for watching. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>